Hi, I'm Carmen. I'm Hallie Becker. I'm Alexis. I'm Esther Lee. I work as an editor, full-time model, chemical biologist, president of Homegirl Worldwide. But I would also describe myself as a daughter, a sister, fiance, a best friend, a Malaysian. I'm a storyteller, oh. mompreneur, a musician, drug addict in recovery, a writer, a forever bridesmaid. Well, I'm kind of a spiritual gangster. And a resident New Yorker. It bothers me when brands use feminist buzzwords because they expect us to fit a certain mold of what they consider to be woman or girl boss or empowered. We all live and come from our power. And it's the outside influences, I think, that try to strip us of our power. You know, you have to look like Kendall Jenner. You have to be really thin. You have to wear a size two. You should start getting Botox at 30. It's not realistic. And it teaches us to put our self-worth in only the times when we are performing at our highest or when we look the best. I have felt that growing up, especially, there were these types of um, placements that were, the word that I want to use is projected upon me. And these expectations were ones that were either lofty or they just completely weren't who I am. I'm a scientist and we're often expected to be serious all the time and to have everything in order. And that's not always the case. For example, the girl next door, that, that, that whole meaning of being docile, but at the same time, like subtly sexy, um, it just didn't fit in with who I was overall. I wanted to read, I wanted to be dynamic, I wanted to lead and a lot of times it just it didn't transpire and translate in the way that I wanted it to add up in my life. Also with like having a baby, they expect you just to like immediately go back to work, um, just pick back where you left off, like you didn't become a mom. Like you gave birth and you also were born as a mom too, so everything changes for you. Oh, what? Oh. You want to stand for a second? You want to just say hello? Oh, okay. It's important for women to feel their self-worth and their self-confidence come from something that is much deeper and significant. And that includes celebrating flaws and things that are very real that need to be discussed more in our society. I can be a boss, but sometimes I just binge watch Netflix all day and I switch from my daytime pajamas to my nighttime pajamas. I am rather decisive, but if you put me in a floral market, it'll take me an hour to pick out flowers. I trip over myself a lot. Um, even just like walking here, I almost fell like three times. I am the sloppiest eater. I am a nap queen. So in my phone, where you have your alarm set, I have an alarm set for basically almost any time of the day because I have taken a nap at any time of the day. <laughs>- an incredible shift in media, especially in the last two to five years. And the movement now that I'm so appreciative of is that we're finally starting to take that authentic power back, which is, I am awesome. I'm also extremely scared, very confused, tired at the end of the day, just trying to do my best, and I'm just looking for a like-minded tribe. I have found that when I see somebody who is flawed or of my background or you know is of a different type of um, career trajectory or anything else on the screen, I, I've realized that those words, representation matters, truly matter. Growing up, I didn't see a lot of women that looked like me in the media. When I was looking at magazines and you know I'm seeing all these airbrush images it made me feel like I wasn't enough at times and I would have insecurities about myself. Um, I have a little niece Naomi she's six and it, it's great to see that things are changing slowly but surely she's now seeing more people um, in Disney movies um, in ads that look like her and I think this is something that we all need this is something that especially young girls need to see people that just look like them. Because overall, if they don't see themselves and what kind of futures they're going to have that are realistic, then how can they grow into something that they really want to aspire to be?